on this one working. Oh. Uh. Intro. Hello and welcome to Mission 75, my camera acts over where we look at weird behind scenes stuff and cutscenes. Now featuring my beautiful voice. <sighs> okay, so it turns out that talking takes longer than writing, so we're gonna need to go through this quickly and just try and give myself more time in the future, okay? If you have trouble understanding anything like what I've just said, for example, enable the English captions below and everything will make slightly more sense. Disc of music parties at the end if you're wondering if you weren't, audio is made using casino to avoid copyright and hopefully sound my voice doesn't put you off as a result of possibly adult fighting mission exposed situation. You got all that, didn't you? No, of course you did. Okay, good. My dog's fancies, I mean, fears, are unfounded. It's easy to forget what was blind when he's always doing crazy things like playing golf and whatnot. Oh, come on! That didn't go in! That's not even open! Why well, is Carl watching them? It's a bit creepy. Oh, and obviously that guy's a huge cheater. If Woozy wasn't blind, he'd be ashamed. He's like some kind of servant, isn't he? He doesn't look an old us, we don't old him, he does everything he's told, tries to get his master happy, and yet basically totally ignored. I might have something here. It's a bit sad. But he deserves it for being a cheater. See, did you see that? Cheater! Now he's cheating at life! That's even worse! I never realised how terrible he was before. Can't you just hold it like a normal person? Okay, that didn't count. He couldn't even bother to bend over. I'll be... What just happened? First of all, Cole didn't even hit that ball. Also, I was going to make a joke about how that guy is, like, overweight and won't have a good time in prison and all that, but now he can't even have that! It's times like this when I wish Woozy could have a side back. I mean, it would only be a month like Christmas present, but plus it would only be for a few seconds. I'm the kind of person who only goes for the absolute minimum when it comes to gifts. I feel I for a console, and I got you an old toy. Well, it's a little bit unnerving how that guy was just listening in to our conversation. I bet he was soundly judging me. He didn't even clean up. Well, as long as that time it seems as a corpse, I don't mind. I'm not even sure what that cutscene's actually about, since there's so much other stuff going on. I think CJ just randomly walked in and they just said, Hey, let's rob a casino, that would be fun. So this demon explodes some, somewhere that Woozy didn't give very good directions to. He's blind though, so he has an excuse. Why does that shoot those people? I guess it was pent up anger that was probably caused by that cheater who shall not be named. Unfortunately, I don't think he dies, but I don't think we see him after the bank heist. Or Woozy, as a matter of fact. Oh, That's fine, Woozy's a terrible friend anyway. Being blind really puts a strain on a relationship. No matter what kind of relationship it is. One of the main reasons I'm doing this, by the way, is because I got a lot of complaints about how the microphone would be better. Now, I know some of you have crazy test finishes or whatever. I made that pretty clear every time I mentioned this. But I want to try and make both groups happy. Or at least give you a taste of what it would be like if I did this kind of videos regularly. The microphone obviously isn't that great. There's a lot of static, but it's the best I can do. Shouldn't complain anyway. You were the ones who wanted it. There should be an annotation at the start, and probably here too, if you suddenly realise that you love text more. I want everyone to watch this and give feedback so I know what people prefer, and then based on what you say, I can make a decision about where I'll go from there. Remember, you can toggle captions too if you want them, especially tap down by me. By me. So all you fans with text fetishes better be grateful. It's a win-win situation for everyone, really. <laughs> what do you think this means, guys? Show me this enormous truck while telling me I need something heavy to smash the crates. What could it be suggesting? Oh sure. Oh, just go and steal some dynamite. How hard can it be? Oh, hold on. Here's a pot tip. Watch this. <sighs> well, you can't blame me for missing. That's a difficult shot. There you go. Just kill that guy on the phone and there goes the time limit. Not that you really need it. You get plenty of time, but in case any of you are doing slow or woozy. And how does that stop them from blowing up the dynamite? Did no one else have a cell phone? Why do you even need a cell phone? I guess the excuse after watching me steal the dime man will be, oh well I didn't have the authority, only the dead guy did. Couldn't they just pick up the cell phone? Or maybe blowing up things really is that complicated. I guess so. This series has told me a lot about this kind of game makes no sense. These workers aren't very bright. Random guy walks in with a bunch of guns stealing dynamite and the first concern is why he isn't wearing safety gear. Yeah, pretty sure there are bigger things to worry about. It's like they think I'm stealing it by accident or something. Yeah, they insulted me like that, when I'm the one with a huge truck and minigun and grenades and dynamite they can't even be bothered protecting. They probably don't care, but they hate this job anyway. They're probably glad I'm doing this. If they really cared, I'd probably see more resistance than this. 
They still think I have no idea what I'm doing. Even though I'm killing people and stealing dynamite, they still think I'm a random idiot who doesn't know what the red explodey stuff is. <laughs> well, I'm sure they're just going by procedure. So if they get asked about it later, they can say well, that was what they were told to do if a random crazy guy walked into the quality. So you can't blame me. Well, that was easy. Don't give me any trouble at all and just let me steal dynamite for some reason. You probably won't even know some I'm gone when I travel from this bike. Wait, there's a text called Casino My Home. Okay, the sandstorm definitely wasn't here before. That means some time must have passed since I got on the bike. I guess call one more of a challenge. It makes sense since that was so stupidly easy. I'm not surprised it took me so long to call back old security, honestly. They didn't even have any of the entrance. Well, what they don't know is that my parkour skills are beyond imagination. Whatever that means. Oh, come on! Why do I need that other dirt bag when I have a perfectly good one right here? I got this one early thinking I'd escape a bit, but apparently not. Maybe this one's magic powers. That would be nice. Well, prepare to be amazed by my incredible skills. Not just at parkour, of course, but that's what I'm doing here. You should sit down for your own safety in case you collapse from shock. I guess that guy can be spared, even though he also didn't bother trying to stop me. I mean, he even tried to get out of the way. Might as well have not even sent him. God, this guy's completely useless. Also, I don't think a bike will be able to go upstairs so smoothly. Obviously, I've never tried, but I'm sure it wouldn't be easy. Hey, I think that was the first guy put up a fight. Round of applause in. Wow, some speed run so fast. All the record right here. Aren't I good? Like I said, this video is so good to walk through as well. If you can pay attention to another annoying guy talking over footage. Or you just muted and voice this game. It never once happened. Huh, I didn't have to kill anyone on this mission. But I think that's just because they all sucked. Well, except for the guy on the phone. And maybe Skirt. He seemed like he sort of may have been considering putting up some kind of fight. And we just can't risk that. But my talking didn't mean you missed my awesome escape. That happens sometimes. Looks like I didn't have to cut anything either. Which I guess is the advantage of talking so much. Depending on if you like it longer or shorter, of course. The video, I mean. I don't think now's the safest way to hold that night. So, hopefully that means he blows up. Plus there were only three in the pile. So, I guess Cole took one for himself. That could be helpful. The guy disappeared though, hopefully forever, although it's probably just teleportation. That's normal these days. Or he could have exploded and just missed it. And the sound. And the child remains. But there are quite some missions, so that sounds exciting. Said nobody. But it's the end, so hooray! Said some people. Anyway, thanks for watching, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and leave feedback in the comments if possible to help me improve. Next time we'll be doing mission 76, you've had your chips, where we probably your chips. That would be nice. Oh, remember to give feedback on the microphone thing and what you think about it. Anyway, wait a minute. Didn't I say there would be a disco music party? Well... Okay, that was more terrifying than anything, but you can't complain. I gave you the disco music party. It's a great example of the minimalistic gift thing I talked about earlier. Anyway, just because I have a microphone doesn't mean I'm going to break tradition. Play them out, CJ. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello. Hello. How does that stop them from blowing up the dynamite? Does no one else have a cell phone? Why do you even need a cell phone? I guess that excuse after what me watching. I guess that guy can be spared. Even though he also didn't bother trying to stop me. I mean, he even tried to get out of the way. Might as well have not even sent him. God, this guy's completely useless. Also, I don't think a bike would be able to smoothly go upstairs so smoothly. Smoothly? I said smoothly twice. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. What? It's harder than you think it would be. One month later... Hello. Hello, and welcome to Mission 75, my camera looks in the way you look away behind the same storm and the blah 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 Hello, welcome to Mission 75, my camera looks in the way you look away behind the same storm and Indeed, it is nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Uh, one month later... Hello, my name is the Wonderful Robot. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good.